Hello, everyone. I'm Renown Zero. We are back again talking about some gaming news. Of course, we've got a couple of articles here from Niche Gamer that we're going to just go through really quick as a quick kind of gaming news type of video. I tend to do some of these quite quite a few times, but we're going to go through a couple of articles here and just kind of talk about some new gaming news that is out there. Starting with V Rising gets Castlevania themed gear and more in new DLC. Stunlock Studios has fully revealed the new V Rising DLC featuring content from the Castlevania franchise via a new partnership with Konami. Of course, as I've said in previous videos, of um, Konami is doing these different content releases with different games to keep the Castlevania IP relevant still. The new Legacy of Castlevania content will see aspiring vampires in the survival ARPG battle Simon Belmont himself with other content tees. Here's a rundown on the previously announced content plus this full gameplay for trailer. The mighty hero of the Belmont clan, Simon Belmont, is here to challenge all the vampire kind, wielding his legendary vampire killer and in an infamous arsenal of his holy weaponry. No Night Stalker will be safe from his righteous crusade through Vardarin. Defeat him and unlock the secrets of a brand new weapon, the whip, adapting new combat abilities that embody the grace and precision of the deadly vampire hunter. All vampires will be able to face the Belmont heir to test their skills in battle, but you will also have additional opportunities to fully immerse yourself in the spirit of Castlevania. The legendary Castle, Leg the Legacy of Castlevania Premium Pack Cosmetic DLC will be available for purchase, allowing players to construct their own castles inspired by adoration, our adoration for the classic Castlevania aesthetic. Craft spellbinding castle decor, enjoy character customization options inspired by legendary Castlevania characters, and ride the new spooky skeletal mount. Set the tone with a symphony of Castlevania music in your castle with two classic themes reimagined by V-Rising composer Alexandria Magova. A release for the DLC is set for May 8th, the, say, the same day the game hits full release on Windows, PS5 port planned for later in 2024. I believe this is the gameplay trailer for it. We're not going to really go through that, though. We also have Stellar Blade has gone gold and ready for release. So Stellar Blade has officially gone gold and is ready for release. In the gaming industry, having gone gold means the game has reached a state where there's where there's a gold master copy that represents the finished product, although that doesn't mean it can't be updated later. Shift Up really brought things down to the wire after previous delays in an anticipated release date of April 26, saying we're a little late with this post, gone gold, hashtag Stellar Blade, hashtag PS5, hashtag Shift Up, and you can see that all the people that worked there, you know, obviously all South Koreans. Stellar Blade is the upcoming action game from Nike developer Shift Up. The title has been praised by gamers for its unapologetic fan service and willingness to be transgressive in the face of recent industry trends. One industry trend the game is following is its $70 price point. However, in this case, Shift Up is offering a full game without microtransactions. Because in this day and age, that's uh, an amazing thing to not have microtransactions. But, okay. Despite not having microtransactions, players who purchase the digital deluxe edition of the game will receive cosmetic Stargazer outfits for Adam, Eve, and Lily, and even a customization for their drone. Celebrate is an upcoming PS5 exclusive action RPG. Players take on the role of Steve, a warrior from an off-world colony who returns to Earth to fight humanity's enemies, the Natibas. She'll be supported by Adam and Lily to protect the last human city, Zion. Anyone noticing biblical themes? With Stellar Blade basically done for now, Shift Up is already looking at to the next project and recently began hiring for a AAA urban sci-fi ARPG. Very good. There's a lot of people out there defending this game because they're Trying to say that, you know, the, the model of the character is unrealistic and beauty standards are, are different and they're not real and all this other stuff. As, you know, the, the industry trend is to take a face model of a character and make them completely unrecognizable from their, you know, the in-game model. To be unrecognizable from the real-life model that they use rather than just doing what Stellar Blade did and Shift Up did and completely doing a body scan and just keeping the aesthetic of the person that they're you know doing the 3, 3, 3d modeling of but good for stella blade that has gone gold we also have vampires of virus coming to playstation contra dlc has been announced indie developer panko has announced vampires of virus coming to playstation console soon confirming the game for all modern platforms it will be coming to playstation 4 and ps5 Sometime this summer, the roguelike shooter has been available for PC, Xbox consoles, both Xbox and PC Game Pass, and smartphones. Panko has announced the latest downloadable content for the game, Operation Guns, featuring Contra, which is launching on May 9th for all platforms. Which is crazy because I think it said the V Rising was coming May 8th, and then this is coming May 9th. Fantastic game, highly recommend it. 
Vampire Survivors is joining forces with Konami's iconic Contra series in a new DLC that's Blast from the Past, emphasis on the Blast. The President's cousin's sister's dog has been kidnapped by Red Falcon. Are you bad enough to come to the rescue? Vampire Survivors Operation Guns embraces the vers- visceral simplicity of classic Contra with build-focused characters that encourage min-maxing and stat manipulation, a ton of weapons, we're talking 20 including evolutions, and a difficulty curve that combines quintessentially arcade hard gameplay with the original Vampire Survivors formula. So, if you know anything about Vampire Survivors, it's top-down, like, waves of enemies, and you power up your character, and you get do more waves, and you, you know, defeat a bunch of more enemies, and it just kind of keeps going. It's a pretty fun game, I really do enjoy it. Next up, we have the rumor of the Dead Space 2 remake being cancelled. EA denies it ever existed. An anticipated remake of Dead Space 2 has reportedly been cancelled. In a recent conversation between Jeff Grubb and Lex Luddy, it was revealed that EA Motive has seemingly shelved the Dead Space 2 remake due to the underperformance of the first remake. I thought the remake was good. Personally, the original was enough because with the backwards compatibility and the enhancements of the Series X, I'll pretty much be able to play the game over in 4K. Instead, EA is pivoting their resources to an Iron Man game and Battlefield. So according to Jeff Grubb, EA Motive was working on a Dead Space 2 remake, which was in concept phase, but got canceled slash shelved because of the lackluster sales of the first remake. He was saying it only made about two, it only sold like 2 million copies. The remake released to mixed opinions due in part to changes from the original 2008 version of the game as well as an, as entirely optional content warnings. Yeah, I thought that's stupid. Why you have content warnings in a horror game? That's what the ESRB rating is for. Being shelved could mean EA Motive could return to their project later, but it seems unlikely since the decision was made for economic reasons. Because, of course, Battlefield has been complete dog water for years, and they've made terrible decisions with that game as well. And they really haven't been putting out anything worth a damn. However, an EA spokesperson reportedly reached out to IGN and denied that a Dead Space 2 remake was ever in the works. We don't normally comment on rumors, but there is no validity to this story. EA coming out to make a statement directly contradicting Grubbs is certainly unusual and conflicts with the fact that last year, they ran a survey that at least indicated a Dead Space 2 remake was being considered. The recent remake was released last year. is already available on Game Pass. Meanwhile, the game is available on Steam, but at its full $59.99 price with multiple layers of DRM, including the dual CD. Putting in DRM in a single-player game is one of the dumbest things you can ever do, especially Denuvo. Denuvo is horrible. Absolutely horrible. As for Dead Space 2023 performing poorly, according to Steam charts, the game around launch had over 28,000 active players. It's not a perfect metric, but it's a far cry less than even some indie single-player games. So, sad to say that Dead Space Remake 2 is not coming. I thought it would have been a great idea to have that after the Dead Space 1 remake that people liked. Dead Space 2 is a better game, anyway. But that's what really sucks about it. It's a much better game than the first Dead Space. But moving on over to PAL World, announcing an Arena PvP mode, which is probably very highly requested by a lot of people. PAL World has announced their new Arena PvP mode in a trailer as part of the Triple-I Initiative. The Triple-I Initiative is a project spawned from multiple indie devs coming together in order to highlight big announcements coming in the indie game sphere. PAL World is one of the biggest indie games so far this year with over 25 million players, exceeding many AAA titles. Because it's actually good. And they improve on it. And they update it. And they're not putting any woke do- nonsense in it. Pow, uh, for a while, the game has just been a single player adventure with some optional online co-op. Now the competition heats up with the game's first PvP mode. Not only will players fight with pals, but also their own weapons. You can check out the trailer below. Power was released back in January 2024 for PC. by a Steam and Microsoft Windows Store. Xbox One and Series X and S also on Game Pass. Fantastic game, by the way. It's basically Pokemon with guns. It's better than Pokemon, honestly. And I would highly recommend it to anyone that wants to play a Pokemon game with guns. So, at the end of the day, I I hope anyone who watches this video is excited for all this stuff. I'm personally excited for this Castlevania theme stuff, the Vampire Survivor stuff, the Contra, and the Power World stuff. But unfortunate for the Dead Space 2 remake. And and it's pretty cool that Cellar Blade has now gone gold. So you know what to release on time since there is a complete version of the game. Obviously, patches can come in later to fix any other problems. But for the most part, it's pretty cool that it's coming. So thank you all for checking out this video. I really do appreciate all the new subscribers, returning subscribers, new viewers, returning viewers. If you do like this video, hit the like button. Comment below what you feel about all this. And let me know if you're excited for any of the titles we talked about here. And if you're, and if you're disappointed that the Dead Space 2 remake will not be coming. Subscribe for more content. Hit the bell for notifications. Set the bell to all. That way you'll get a notification anytime I post a new video on live stream. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.